Hello everybody. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see today, you know, we do have our dear brother Warbins joining us on the show, um, on the Word of God. You know, today we're going to have a good subject for you guys. I pray that the Lord bless you with, with, with what you're about to hear. I pray that you open up your heart to receive it. Now, Brother Walbins, how you doing today? It's nice seeing you. It's nice having you on the show. How you been? Good. Thank good, good, good. Me. No problem. A at any time, it's my pleasure. Now, just to start, you are youth, you young, and I know that you deal with a lot of stuff at the house. Things that you got to do for your parents when they ask you. Now, um, the subject for today, by the way, guys, it's obey your parents. Now, when I say obey your parents, everybody should already know that we're talking about being obedient unto your parents. Now, if you look in the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, I'm going to go ahead and read it for you. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1 down to two, uh, 3. Children, obey your parents and the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise. Verse 3. That it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. Yes, how do you feel about this verse? I know you're a young guy, and sometimes your parents ask you to do stuff that you don't feel comfortable to do. Or you don't even like doing. So how do you deal with that? Give me some example about some stuff they ask you to do and you don't like doing, but you still got to do. Well, for the pinch us, uh, there's a lot of things my parents ask me to do that I don't like doing. Hmm. I'll give you one example. Cleaning. Hmm. Number one thing about cleaning, I hate cleaning. Hmm. That's, that's my number one pet peeve. Cleaning? Oh, man. When it comes to cleaning around the house, the whole house, that's a lot of things to do. Um, most of the times, my, my parents, you know, they, they ask me to clean the house. I'd be like, nah, I don't want to do that. I don't want to clean it. I complain a lot. I, I get mad at them. I'd be like, I have an attitude with them. Especially, I even talk back to them. When they ask me to do something, I'd be like, no, I don't want to do it. Why can't you do it? And uh, so um, another thing is, they asked me to um, not not to go outside. Cause see me, I'm a type of person that like to go outside and like play around stuff like that. Have some fun. Yeah, have some fun. But then it, it gets to the point that you know they're tired of it. Cause you know me, yeah, I, I, I be going outside every single day. <laughs> they're tired of it, and they ask me not to go outside. I be like, why? Like, why are you guys always telling me not to go outside? Like, you don't want me to have my fun? It's not fair. Like. Sometimes parents they annoy me a lot. Like because I just want to, like I just want to run away. And like I remember one time, um, my parents told me oh not to go outside. And that day they had to go somewhere. They, they spent the whole day. Um, they went on, on, on some field trip. So as soon as they left, that's when I went outside hmm. and I went to go you know play around. Let and, me let me ask you this then. So how do you feel? about, about the, what the Word of God says. Because it says, Obey your parents and the Lord, for this is right. So how do you feel about that? And now, remember this, not only that, in verse 2 it says that, Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment, with a promise. Mm. Now, um, after reading that verse, that verse really hit me. After... All the things I've done to my parents, not obeying them, not listening to what they, they ask me to do, um, not doing what they want me to do. After reading that verse, it just hit me. I asked myself, wow, I cannot believe it. Like, why? Why do I do this stuff to my parents? And now, I feel bad for what I've done to my parents. After reading that verse, especially the, 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 the third verse, what, what, what is the third verse again? The third verse says that, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 3, that it may be well with thee, and that mayest live long on earth. Hmm. You now, will live long on earth. Now, that part, what I, what I learned from that verse is that I must obey what they ask me to do. Like, I need to obey my parents. If I don't, if I don't obey, that means that I don't obey God. Because God, he's, he's also my father. And that, I realized that 
you know what what I've done in the past was not good. Now, what I need to do, I need to listen to my parents. I need to follow what they say because they're my father and, and my mother. As the second verse says, honor your father and mother. So, yeah, I learned that, you know, it's not good that you don't listen to your parents. See, kids, you kids out there, if you read this verse, trust me. You're going to you're gonna want to do what your parents tell you to do. True that. Obey your parents. Please listen to your parents. Whatever they ask you to do, do it. Do not complain. Do not yell at them. Do not argue with them. No, it's not good. Because as a verse says on verse 3, if you do it, there's going to be a promise for you. Like The promise is that you will live here forever. Yes. So please, kids, all the kids that have been dealing with not obeying their parents, please read this verse, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1 down to 3, and, and you'll see. Thank you. Thank you very much, Brother Robbins, for um, joining us, and we appreciate you. And um, guys, young people, we all love you, and we pray for you dearly. Now, you have to understand, the Word of God is a promise. Verse 1 says, obey your parents and God. Second one says that, honor your parents and God. And with that, there's a promise if you do it. So the promise is that you will live forever. You will live, I'm sorry, you will live long on earth. Not forever, but you will live long on earth. So it is hard a lot of time for young people to obey. It is very hard for young people to follow what their parents are telling them. And they're only telling you that for your own good. So we take this time as young people also, as a youth leader, and as one of my youth members, we come to speak to you young people. Obey your parents in everything that they ask you to do. For it is only for your own good. And I pray that God bless you. And I pray that God keep on blessing you to keep doing what's right. And I pray that God keep on blessing everybody that will click on to this to watch this. Join us every single time to pass the word of God on. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Ah.